everyone. Welcome back to Joshua's Reading Corner. If you're new here, welcome. I'm very happy to have you here on my channel. In today's video, I decided to do a little fun uh, book haul from Barnes & Noble. It's not a big one. I just got three books. Um, I'm hoping to do another one soon because I earned Every, I earned enough rewards to go back and do another little book haul. So, um, I got three books um, that I've heard really good things about that I've had on my TBR that I'm excited to read and, and tell you guys what I think about them. So, the first book is Best Men by Sydney Carger. I think that's how you say the name. Um, I've heard really good things about it. It's really cute. Um, really, I've heard that it's really, really good. Um, I feel like it's kind of giving off, uh, New York City vibes. Um, I want to say that's where the book is based not based in. Um, the book is Max Moody thought he had everything figured out. He's trying to live his best life in New York City, and he has the best friend a gay guy could ever ask for. Paige, she and Max grew up next door to each other in the suburbs of Chicago. She can light up any party. She, finish, she finishes his sentences. She's always a reliable splunch. They don't like to use the word brunch partner. But then Max's whole world is turned upside down when Paige suddenly announces some huge news. She's engaged, and she wants Max to be her man of honor. Max was always the romantic one who imagined he would get married before the unpredictable Paige, and he's shocked to hear she's ready to settle down. But it turns out there's not just one new man in Paige's life. There are two. There's the groom, Austin who's a perfectly nice guy. Then there's his charming, fun, and ridiculous, handsome, gay younger brother, Chastin, who is Austin's best man. A pa at, as Paige's wedding draws closer, Max, the introvert, Midwesterner, and Chastin, the social butterfly East Coaster, realize they're like oil and water, yet they still have to figure out how to coexist in, a in Paige's life while not making her wedding festivities all about them. But can the tiny romantic spark between these two ever different, vi these two very different guys transform them from playing their best man supporting roles into being the leading best man in each other's lives? I, I like I said, I heard pretty good things about this one, so I'm excited to read this. I love a good male male romance. I've been really into reading those a lot this year. Um, I've probably read about 15, maybe 20, maybe even more than that. There's no telling. Um, the next book that I got is Icebreaker. I am really excited to read this one by Hannah Grace. I have heard really, really amazing things about this one. So, this one is Anastasia Allen has worked her entire life as a sh for a shot at Team USA. It looks like everything is going according to plan when she gets a full scholarship to the University of California, Mayfield Hills, and lands a place in their competitive figure skating team. Nothing will stand in her way, not even the captain of the hockey team, Nate Hawkins. Nate, Nate's focus as team captain is on keeping his team on the ice which is tricky when a facility's mishap means they are forced to share a rink with the figure skating team, including Anastasia, who clearly can't stand him. But when Anastasia's skating partner faces an uncertain future, she may have to look to Nate to take her shot. Sparks fly, but Anastasia isn't worried, because she could never like a hockey player, right? I've, I've heard this is pretty good. I think there's some very steamy scenes in this one that I'm excited about because I love a good smut book and I so I'm definitely excited to read this one uh, the next book I've heard mixed things on it's uh, in the lives of puppets by TJ Klune I've ha I have some friends that like it some that don't like it so I'm you know I'm 
I've, I love T.J. Klune. I think he's a great author. He has always written some good books. I have three books by him that I've loved. And so I'm definitely excited to read this one. It's very different for me. Um, I've heard it's a very different book. Um, so this one is in a strange little home built into the branches of a grove of trees live three robots fatherly inventor android giovanni lawson a pleasantly sadistic nurse machine and a small vacuum desperate for love and attention victor lawson a human lives there too their family hidden and safe then one day vic salvages and repairs an unfamiliar android love labeled hap and he learns of a shared dark past between Hap and Geo, a past spent hunting humans. When Hap unwittingly unwit alerts robots from Geo's former life to their whereabouts, the family is no longer hidden and safe. Geo is captured and taken back to his old laboratory in the city of Electric Dreams, so together the rest of Vix's assembled family must journey across an unforgiving and otherworldly country to rescue Gia from decom decom Oof. I'm struggling with that word or worse reprogramming along the way to save Gio amid conflicting feelings of betrayal and affection for Harp Vic must decide for himself can he accept love with strings attached so it sounds really good um I'm excited to read this one um like I said, I've heard mixed emotions on this one, but, um, it was, it is, it was a book club pick for, uh, Fox and Wood, um, from Alexandra Rosalind, um, so I didn't get a chance to get it when the, um, when the book club was going, when the book club is reading this one, but I'm definitely excited to read it, even not in a book club, just for fun for right now. So that was my little mini book haul from Barnes & Noble. Um, I'm hoping to do another one. Um, if you've made it this far, uh, leave a, a summer emoji, a, a sun emoji, sorry, um, and drop down while you're currently reading. Right now I am in, I'm reading the third book on We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. Um, this is really good. I'm working on a reading vlog right now with this series. Um, I haven't really filmed much, um, from the second book. I pretty much read that in about a day and a half. Um, and that's because I work. So I kind of read in between. Um, but the first book was really, really good. Um, the second book I thought was really good as well. Um, currently, um, the second season is now on Prime Video, if you don't already know. Um, and I'm ready to see more episodes from that. Um, thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.